I am so excited to share with you this new video series featuring the Gospel Library app. The Gospel Library app is an app put out by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and it is full of awesome tools to help improve our gospel study. So let's first get started by showing you how to log in to the app and some of the settings available within the app. You may be wondering, what is the value in logging into the Gospel Library app? When you are using that app, you can go through and mark scriptures. You can link to other scriptures or other content. You can add personal notes. When you log in, all that content is saved to your account. So if you lose your phone or your tablet with all your markings, if you've logged in, all your stuff is still saved. The other great reason is say you have a phone and you have a tablet and you have a computer. Well, if you log in on all three of those, all that great content that you have added to the app, you can access it if you have logged in. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and show you how to log in and show you some additional settings within the Gospel Library app. Once the app is installed and open on your device, you're gonna want to come up to the top right corner and click on the three dots and go to settings and then click sign in and here you'll enter your username for your church login and then you'll click next then you'll enter your password for your church login account and then you'll click next and now you are signed in to the gospel library app you can see here that it says last sync just now. That's saying that it has now synced with the information that it has stored on the servers for my account for the Gospel Library app. Within the settings of the Gospel Library app, there are several features that you can change. So if we'll come here, you can click on text style. Within text style, you can choose which style of font you like. And you can also change the font size you can change the theme to different colors. You can set list mode. If you set list mode, you'll see your library is now a list. When I turn off list mode, you can see now it's pictures, larger pictures, and in rows. So that's what the list mode does. Within settings, you can also receive a wide variety of notifications, such as a verse of the day or a quote of the day or reminders to read your scriptures or about your study plans, about featured messages, events that are coming up, all this content. You can just go ahead and slide one over and you'll start getting notifications for that. In the downloaded media, it shows you what content you have downloaded. Say your phone is running low on space, you can come up here and edit, and you can take off some of the things that you have downloaded to give yourself more space on your phone. There are audio settings, so if you are listening to an audio version of the scriptures, you can increase the playback speed, you can choose continuous play or not, you can even choose a female versus a male voice. You can click here to show archive content that the church is no longer using as much. You can choose whether you want to use cellular data for updates. So those are the settings and how you would log in to the Gospel Library app.